How does water become lead contaminated? Well, there are two main places where lead can get into your water: at the water source, or more commonly in lead-based pipes. First, at the water source, this is far less common. Cities or towns with an industrial past sometimes find lead contamination in their water after lead dust or slag pollution. The second pathway: lead-based pipes. Lead-based pipes haven't been installed as water supply pipes since the 1930s, but because of the astronomical cost of replacing them, many cities across the United States still use them. Over time, old lead pipes become corroded. On the inside of the pipe, rust begins to form, breaking off flakes of lead into a water system coming through your faucet. To combat this, water and sewer departments add orthophosphate to the water supply. It's harmless for human consumption, and it coats the pipes, creating a barrier between the lead-based pipe and the water traveling into houses. But this process takes time. It can take weeks to significantly reduce the amount of lead leaching into a system. And when cities start to replace their pipes, that process can create vibrations from construction, causing more flakes of the corroded pipe to enter the water supply. How can I test for lead in my water? The EPA doesn't recognize any at-home lead in water testing kits as sufficiently accurate. However, the Indiana Department of Health has 11 certified drinking water chemistry laboratories that can test samples. The results will be measured in parts per billion. 15 ppb is the EPA action level, although the CDC says there is no safe level of lead in your water. To put that into context, in East Chicago, the highest measured level of lead in the water supply was 45 parts per billion. In Flint, Michigan, that level was 11,000 parts per billion. What can I do if I have lead contaminated water? First, lead can't be absorbed into the skin. Lead will not cause skin reactions or get into your bloodstream through showering or bathing. However, You should not brush your teeth with lead contaminated water, and children should be closely supervised while bathing in it. Second, if the water coming from your pipes has less than 150 parts per billion of lead, you can use an NSF faucet filter. These are certified by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Not all faucet filters remove lead, so it's important to make sure the one you purchase does. If you're concerned about lead contaminated water, Contact your local, county, or state health department about testing resources. For Indiana Public Broadcasting, I'm digital producer Lauren Chapman. Do you have a question about the environment, health, technology, business, education, agriculture, or government? Reach out to me on Twitter. I'm at Lauren E Chapman underscore.